hello guys i'm benedicta and i'm back again with another video i hope you're all doing well and in today's video it's gonna be about my micro braiding a whole lot of people were asking me in details how i achieved this particular style so i'm here to give all the details and also why i zoomed out whilst i was braiding and a lot of things so i'm here to correct everything thank you guys love you so much so yeah now so let's get right into the video so i got four of these the length is 28 inches how it looks so i got one two three and four but let me go ahead and open this and come up for you guys to see okay instructions on the back side that's nice very very soft and the length like i said is 28 inches this time i'm going to go in depth of this micro braiding because a lot of people were asking me i'm gonna try my best to show you guys all the steps so let's get into it so this is the current state of my hair the hair is growing <laughs> but it's quite short anyway but it's growing okay the hair you are seeing has already been shampooed and deep conditioned so I got four pieces here, one, two, three, and four. And they are all in the same length and the same color, which is color one. My hair smells very fresh. So now I'm unraveling the hair, unraveling my short hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and comb it. Here, I just want to show you the length of my hair. The hair is growing. So yeah, it's growing so amazing so all combed out all combed out <laughs> so yeah length check now so this is the back side As you can see my hair is growing <laughs> this is the side and of course the front section and this is the thickness of hair i'll be using all over hopefully and this is the free traced hair i'll be using I'm combing it through to get all the tangles out. I'm sectioning the hair I'll be using, not too big and not too small because this is micro braiding. So this is the amount I'll be using. So you can see it's not too thick and not too 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 tiny. And just divide the hair in three parts or three sections. So now I'm going to take one part of it and divide it in two sections. Just like so. So now, gather all this together in just one piece like this and use the one you divided to cross over just like so. Very simple and so easy. This is how it should look like. This is how I hold the hair when I'm about to braid and feel free to do it your own way. I'm going to use this fake hair, this one to attach my real hair, hold it tight and use this tiny one to wrap the base two to three times. I'll go ahead and do it four to five times, not too tight, not too tight. So let's do this in real life. The hair has already been sectioned. Now I'm gonna place this at the base, just like so, and use the tiny one to wrap just the base and make sure it's not too too tight. Two to three times, can do four times, and then you begin to braid down. But please make sure to divide the hair into three equal parts. I mean equally. And again, make sure you do not borrow hair at this stage until you get to the very, 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 very end. It's so important. When you do that, your braids are going to come out very, very pretty, nice and smooth without 
trimming in your hair. Just look at the bits. Very flat, nice, movable, beautiful. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect. So this is where I am now. Moving forward. Let me bring it up for you guys to see. Bam. Beautiful. This is the most tedious part because you cannot see your back, you know, even though you are using mirror, it's not so easy and it's so difficult, very difficult to, to do this all by yourself. Yeah. But hey, I never say die until the bones are rotten. Yes. So let's proceed. Enough of my fooling. <laughs> Micro braids are very tiny braids, so small, beautiful, chic, sexy, and they resemble thick strands of hair and take hours to install and sometimes even longer to remove depending on the length of your hair. But since my hair is short, I just cut it and just remove it. So like the time spent is worth it. I'm planning to keep this in for a whole month. I never ever 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 borrow hair until I get to the very very ends of the hair just like this and also I try my very best to braid all the way down until I can never braid anymore just like so. Four to six packs of this hair will be enough depending on the size of your head. Yeah I was already getting tired. I was famished. Oh my god, but I need to move on. Yes, that's the power of black girls. No, you never say no, 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 it's not in my dictionary. No, 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 no. So it's looking pretty. I like it. Let me stand up and show you the length of the hair. I couldn't, but at least I could. Yeah. Stretch your girl, stretch, stretch it, stretch. Yeah, yeah, stretch it. Okay, okay. Ah, that's good. Ah, that's good. Ah, that's clear. Does this a show now? Yeah, does this is a show now? Yeah, I love it. I'm loving this already. And the hair feels amazing. The hair feels very nice, very soft, very lightweight. But hey, I love my easy braiding hair. I have to go back to my easy braiding hair, you know. I love the hair so much. I love that hair so, so, so much. I couldn't get my hands on that hair. So that's the main reason why I'm using this featureless hair. Yo, hmm. I love that hair called easy braiding hair. That hair is so beautiful and pretty. But I couldn't get my hands on it And that has broken my heart But I have to get my hands on that hair Oh yes! And also, although braid can last anywhere between 2 to 8 weeks depending on which kind you go for and how you wear them you should be prepared to Cleanse roughly every two to three weeks if you have been swimming or happen to sweat a lot Your scalp will require a bit of TLC to keep your hair fresh and Beautiful so now I'm going to take this much hair. This is the amount I normally take Yeah, this is okay So remember this is my call so I'm not going to take so much hair if i stretch it this is how okay almost small perfect amount so what i'm going to do is take your hair just a tiny little bit this is how i normally prep my hair very simple okay. just like this out of it and use it to cross bam Fetish. Finished. So, see. But let me show you another way. So, you divide this tiny little piece into equal 
section like three to four parts like so so this is one two and three so with this one okay go ahead and divide this also in two sections like this and add the half to this two just like so and then you use this tiny one to cross over like so very easy like you normally would just like so so now you can see the tiny piece on top oh you too Exactly like this so you can see this one is very very little very tiny and this is the one I'm going to use to wrap my hair okay so I'm going to demonstrate this again of course how I hold the hair place it at the base and begin to braid so please watch carefully like me guys so i'm going to just section tiny piece of hair just like this not so big yeah this is good okay how I hold it okay so I'm going to hold this this tiny one this hand just like so take the hair and place it directly at the base hold it tightly at the base and use the little strands that you have to wrap around the base make sure you wrap it tightly enough but not too tight as well yeah one two or three or four five times it's okay sometimes i just go ahead and braid down one two three four times then after that i'm going to divide the hair into three equal parts like I said, make sure it's equal. And then you want to go ahead and check if the base is well secured, tight enough. Then go ahead and braid all the way down to your preference. You know, although micro braids are stunning hairstyle, they aren't for everyone yes they aren't for everyone understanding what's great and not so great about them is the first step in deciding if they are right for you before you go in for this particular hairstyle and this can really breaks your hair up if you don't know what you're doing let me tell you all the truth. Micro braids are the worst type of braid for your hair unless you know how to take care of them properly. I mean properly. Micro braids only use a small number of strands of hair. So breakage is much more likely to occur and it's not for everyone. Let me say it again. It's not for everyone. But unless you know how to take care of them in a proper way but i just braid all the way down mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. so braid way down to the very end this is what i just did okay look how neat flat at the base see no bulkiness even this hairstyle is so beautiful and pretty very nice and chic like i said it's not for everybody yeah there are some people who should avoid this hairstyle although it's so stunning and beautiful 
because the braids are so small and it's not good for people who have thin edges i mean you should avoid this hundred percent if people with thin edges should avoid this hairstyle and i've been able to achieve this in day one it wasn't easy it was a hell of work a hell of work and let me show you where i am now <clears throat> this micro braiding is not as easy as you think <clears throat> so this is where i am now being able to braid a little bit from this side and also a little bit from this side so hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to cover a little half of this so which means I'm going to use like three days to finish this hair it wasn't easy at all and like I said this length is 28 inches it's not 36 inches 28 inches and yeah so just want to show you where I am now So if you watch carefully, the thickness of hair looks almost the same. Because it's micro, you have to make sure they all look the same. So I got some few braids to break down, as you can see. Got some few to break down. So I would say this is a hip length, hip length. So today is day two, 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 two.